damn meal! What's up everyone, Milkman here, and today I might be torturing myself a little bit because I will be trying out the new Ghost Pepper Whopper at Burger King. But the uh, last video I made was a Burger King video, so there's no need for history on Burger King. So let's get a little more specific and talk about the history of the Whopper. The Whopper was created in 1957 by Burger King co-founder James McElmore and originally sold for 37 cents. Which, just saying, if the Whopper was still 37 cents, I would eat at Burger King breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He formed this burger, he created this burger because he believed, based on his observations, that people valued a bigger burger. They didn't want to buy, you know, like the White Castle sliders. They wanted a big, meaty, oh, manly burger. So he created just the Whopper, which is a big burger, and named it the Whopper to even just further convey the point that it's a hefty boy. Through the years, the Whopper has gone through many changes, uh, mostly minor, just as far as like, you know, the overall size, the bread type, uh, sesame seeds on the bun, but more or less has remained pretty similar to its original incarnation. And since the Whopper's creation in 1957, there have been countless like limited time offerings, one-off variations, or just little twists on the Whopper. Some of which include the Whopperito, which was pretty much a Whopper chopped up and in, instead of in between buns was in a tortilla. And in a burrito form, there was the A1 Halloween Whopper, which had A1 steak sauce infused in the bun. And it was a uh, that black bun Whopper, which it saw a fair share of controversy, I think, with people's dumps after they ate it. Some kind of color or discoloration of people's poops, if I remember correctly. And then uh, there was the Impossible Whopper, which I actually had, and it was pretty damn good. It tasted, I'm not, like the commercials actually were pretty spot on. It tasted just like a normal Whopper, but the Impossible Whopper was um, just a normal Whopper, but instead of a ground beef patty, they swapped out the ground beef for the Impossible meat, which is a plant-based meat alternative. And they grilled the, the burger out of that. And it was pretty good. I thought I'd try, you know, see what it was about. And uh, that one actually lived up to the hype. Um, account among many, many more variations. That's just a few. But the latest version, the Ghost Pepper Whopper, is a limited time offering around for Halloween. I think I saw it was offered from October 13th to the 31st. So with this video, airing on Halloween as a little Halloween special if you will the uh, you might not have your chance to try it because it's gonna be the last day it's sold this ghost pepper whopper comes with a it comes with spicy queso crispy jalapenos and ghost pepper slash like bacon and ghost pepper cheese on an orange and black bun well, it's got a black bun. We'll see how my dumps look after this. I'm not putting that on YouTube, but I'll report back maybe in the next video. Um, now, I personally am a big fan of the Whopper. I think it's a pretty damn good fast food burger. Um, it's better than the Big Mac, if you ask me, but I think that might be impartial because I think Burger King's burgers are just better than McDonald's in general. I think McDonald's is chicken a little better. Burger King has better burgers. But so, I, and you know your boy fucks with the spice nowadays. So, so I'm pretty excited to try this burger, see how spicy it is, see how good it tastes, see if it can, you know, it's another burger that I just like from Burger King. We'll see if it can uh, keep that, keep my opinion of Burger King burgers intact. So will this burger, will this Ghost Supper Whopper light my taste buds on fire or will it fizzle out? There's only one way to find out. Let's get to it. I stopped recording for the remainder of the drive. I should have just fucking kept recording because I didn't realize how close I was. We're at the same Burger King I got the royal chicken sandwich from, the one closest to my apartment. So we'll have to see how this goes. Hi, I'm Jessica. Hi, this is Jessica. Hi, Hi, I'll do the ghost pepper whopper meal, please, with a Pepsi to drink or Coke, whatever you got. 
size? Uh, medium's fine. No coke? Yeah, that's fine by me. 1239 second window. Thank you so much. You're yeah, welcome. Second window. Now, we already know, I've tried the fries. I guess we could evaluate this batch. But I mean, you know, I already got the fries. I had it in the last video, so. This might be a shorter review, because I'm just reviewing the burger. I mean, obviously the burger's always the main source, but it might be a quicker review, because, you know, we just had fries last week, so. Thank you so much. energy coming from her but you know it is what it is so let's pull over here let's park same as last time you guys know the drill by now gotta eat in the parking lot to get the best possible quality all right we got the bag we got our fries Ooh, piping hot fries here we go ghost pepper whopper Wow, now that looks interesting. Well, that's incredibly orange cheese too. Look at this thing. Look at that. Where's like that cheese? Let me get that cheese in there. Look at how orange that cheese looks. God damn, it's like as orange as the bun. Let's pull it off here. Yeah, there you got the crispy jalapenos as well, the bacon. Uh, I guess the cheese is just ghost pepper cheese. Looks like the bacon's more strips. The website was very misleading. But here we go. Let's try it. Ooh. Yeah, there's some heat to it. Ooh, getting hiccups. Jesus. Ooh. I think it's because I need a drink. There's definitely some heat to it. I think that's mostly coming from the jalapenos though because it's not like it's unbearable it's like pretty good amount of heat but it's not like i'm ugh. definitely spicier than that spicy chicken sandwich from last week though no question about that pretty good i like it mm. i think i prefer the normal whopper but this is a nice change of pace I could uh, maybe do a little, a little more heat with it being a ghost pepper whopper. You know, I mean, granted, not, I feel like something that actually murders people like a real ghost pepper, they wouldn't sell a lot of. So I kind of get why they're probably toning it down a little bit because they want, obviously, got to get to sell this burger. But it's pretty good. Definitely got some heat to it. Hmm. So I think I prefer a normal Whopper though, but that's pretty damn good. Not disappointed at all. Also, the Eagle Eye viewer might notice I have just a mustache and no beard. It's because uh, I went on a bar crawl last night. I was Freddie Mercury for my costume, because it was a Halloween bar crawl. So I had to shave the beard and keep just the mustache. Dyed this black, but I washed it out since then. Bye. No. They're fries. They're pretty good. Not, probably not as good as last one, ones from last week. These need a little more salt. The ones from last week were a little saltier. And we all know Coke is all right. It's inferior to Pepsi. We all know that, but you know, it'll do. So the Ghost Pepper Whopper, honestly, I like it a little more than I thought I would. I'll give it like a solid, seven out of ten i think it's pretty damn good i think a normal whopper is a little better but this is definitely not a bad offering from burger king if you have time today october 31st 2022 go get it try it out see if you like it let me know in the comments what you think or if you think this is disgusting or anything whopper let's talk about um Thank you guys for watching this Halloween special. I hope everyone watching this has a great Halloween. Stay safe out there, whatever you're doing. 
Hope everyone was safe this past weekend, because that's when I hit the bars in my costume, so who knows? I feel like other people will be doing the same thing. But have a happy Halloween. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check me out on Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Link to my channel in the description of this video. All my other links to all my other socials and anything else you might need will be in the about section of my Twitch bio. So make sure you check that out. I will be back maybe next week. Maybe take a little bit of a break because, you know, I'm popping out a video once a week. That's pretty ambitious for me. But I got another idea I just thought of the other day. I'll have to, I'll put that into action when I feel like I'm ready. I'll see you, until then, I'll see you guys in the stream. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Oh, and don't forget to fucking make out that subscribe button and eat the ass of that uh, like and sub post notification buttons. Make sure you eat their asses. Uh, thank you guys so much. See you on the stream. Goodbye.